Hello everybody and welcome to story time. I'm Miss Melissa and I'm so glad you could join me for this week's toddler time. Are you ready to get started? We are going to start with our welcome song. You ready? Here we come now to story time, to story time, to story time. Here we come now to story time so early in the morning. And this is the way we clap our hands, clap our hands, clap our hands. This is the way we clap our hands so early in the morning. And this is the way we stump our feet, stump our feet, stump our feet. This is the way we stump our feet so early in the morning. And this is the way we wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. This is the way we wave hello so early in the morning. All right, so next for today it is time for our first story. And today's first story is called Llama Destroys the World. And this story is by Jonathan Sutzman. On Friday, Llama will destroy the world. I am Llama, proclaimed Llama. Monday. On Monday, Llama found cake. Piles of cake. More cake than any Llama should ever eat. That, said Llama. Llama ate all of the cake. This was his first mistake. Burp. It was an honest mistake. It was a delicious mistake. One of those mistakes that leads to more mistakes and eventually the ultimate doom of everything. Tuesday. Tuesdays were for dancing. So Llama put on his dancing pants. The pants did not fit. He was still full of cake. But he never danced without his dancing pants. They made his butt look groovy. Salama so huffed and puffed and squeezed and stuffed himself into the pants. This was his second mistake. And then Llama danced. He jiggled and tangoed. He cha-chaed real smooth. His rhythm was perfect. His moves were precise, but the pants never stood a chance. RIP! The rip was thunderous. It shook the house, the trees, and the mountains. It shook the very fabric of the universe. The cosmic vibrations from the ripping pants were so mighty that a black hole tore open. Wednesday. On Wednesday, Llama found the black hole. That, said Llama. He had never seen a black hole before. He didn't know what it could be or what it could do. But Llama was a llama of science. He knew the answers were out there waiting to be discovered. Llama read books. He ran complex experiments. He debated with the greatest minds and thinkers he could find. And then he analyzed the data and came to a well thought out conclusion. Damn, said Wama wisely. Instead of warning the world of its imminent doom, Llama decided to do something more important. He made a bologna and cheese sandwich with extra cheese. This was his third mistake. Thursday. On Thursday, many signs of doom appeared in the sky. Flying top hats, soaring teacups, twisting, tumbling, well-dressed turtles. But Mama didn't notice. Thursdays were for painting, and Llama was busy painting his latest masterpiece. The end was near. Friday. On Friday, the world ended. The more the black hole sucked in, the bigger and stronger it grew. The animals flew, the pizzas and bicycles and houseplants flew, and Llama flew too. I am Llama! 
the black hole swallowed everything up. Every single thing left in the world. Everything left in the universe. Until there was nothing. Saturday. On Saturday, on the other side of the black hole, everything was fine. The universe tumbled out exactly as it had been before. Even Llama. I am Llama, proclaimed Llama. The sky was blue, the sun was shining, the world was perfectly calm, like nothing had ever happened. Sunday. On Sunday, with the world back to normal, Llama found something wonderful. Piles of pie. More pie than any llama should ever eat. Dad, said Llama. Llama ate all of the pie. The end. All right, so next for today, we have a rhyme up on our board. So let's get our board ready. And we're gonna get out our rhyme for the board. Are you ready? One, let's see, still getting ready, hang on. Let's see, we've got a book. One little book, it's brand new. I checked out another and then there were one, two, two books. Two little books, all for me. I checked out another, and then there were one, two, three, three books. Three little books I found by the door. I checked out another, and then there was one, two, three, four, four books. Four little books I read on the drive. I checked out another. And then there were one, two, three, four, five. Five books. You know, what color is this first book? We have a green book. What about our second book here? What color is this one? We have a yellow book. And what about this book right here? What color is this one? See, we have an orange book. And what about this book down here? What color is this one? It's a red book. And what about our last book here? What color is this one? We have a blue book. All right, so nice job with that rhyme. Next, it is time for our second story for today. And this book is all about rhyming too. This story is called Rhyme Crime. And it is by John Bergerman. Once upon a time, a thief committed a crime. Everything he stole was replaced with a rhyme. Hammy's brand new hat was swapped for a, a cat. Gumbop's lovely head became a slice of bread. Oh, crumbs. Arnie's comfy chair was switched for a bear. Yikes. Toodle's loyal dog was taken for a log. Moo's fancy clogs were swapped for some Frogs! Uh oh, you want to wear frogs on your feet? Gertie's pretty house was now a giant mouse. Marlo's happy smile became a crocodile. Dingle's mighty sneeze was swapped for stinky cheese. Blue's yummy cake was taken for a snake. Hiss. 
sleepy boomer's brain was switched for a, a train. Uh-oh. The thief took Tumble's orange and he swapped it with a, hmm, a splorange? That's not a word. Smorange, morange, flamorange, warmed? Hmm, what rhymes with orange? There's the thief. Is this the end of his tale? The thief was taken to jail. What terrible luck. I'm truly stuck. But by the very next day, the thief had run away. How did he escape? Let's see. He took the lock and he swapped it with a sock. The end, hmm, let's see, there's our thief. Do you see what he's writing? And he left the captain with a goat. He swapped the boat for a goat. The end. All right, so next for today, we are gonna do some shaking. So can you find some shakers or a rattle or any type of toy that will make a noise? And can you shake? Can you shake, 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 shake? Can you shake your shakers way up high in the sky? You shake them way up high. And you shake them way down low. And can you shake them up high again? Shake them way up high. And can you shake them way down low? Can you shake your shakers on top of your head? Can you shake them on top of your head? Can you shake them on top of your shoulders? Can you find your shoulders? And can you shake them on top of your elbows? This one's kind of tricky. Can you shake them on your elbows? And what about on your knees? Can you shake them on your knees? All right, now can you take your shakers and can you shake them really, really fast? As fast as you can go. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. And can you shake them really slow and slow motion? And can you shake them really fast again? Fast, fast, fast. As fast as you can go. And can you shake them really fast? slow and slow motion. All right, so now we've got a song with our shakers and everybody can shake along. Are you ready? If you're happy and you know it, give a shake, shake, shake. If you're happy and you know it, give a shake, shake, shake. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, give a shake, shake, shake. If you're happy and you know it, give a clap. If you're happy and you know it, give a clap, clap, clap. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, give a clap, clap, clap. If you're happy and you know it, give a tap, tap, tap. If you're happy and you know it, give a tap, tap, tap. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, give a tap, tap, tap. A nice job yourself, a great big shake, 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 shake. All right, so now you can go ahead and set your shakers down and we are done with them for today. But we have one last story and this story is called Two Dogs on a Trike. You ready? And this story is by Gabby Schneider. One dog stands alone, just one. Two dogs on a trike. Now there's two. Three dogs on a scooter. Now there's one, two, three. Four dogs on a bike. Five dogs on a trolley. Can we count them? Let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five. Five dogs. dogs on a train. Seven dogs on a ferry. 
eight dogs on a plane. Nine daring dogs on a hot air balloon. 10 dogs, wait. That's not a dog. What type of animal is that? It's a cat. Nine fleeing dogs on a hot air balloon. Eight dogs on a plane. Seven dogs on a ferry. Six dogs on a train. Five dogs on a trolley. Four dogs on a bike. Three dogs on a scooter. Two dogs on a trike. One dog stands alone. He's hiding. Two cats on a trike. The end. All right, so that was our last story for today. So now it's just time for our goodbye song. Are you ready? Our hands say thank you with a clap, clap, clap. Our feet say thank you with a tap, tap, tap. Clap, clap, clap. Tap, tap, tap. We roll our hands around and wave goodbye. Bye, everybody. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.